Hello everybody, welcome back to another Bakugan vlog post. I have 8 small boxes here, quite light, only this is quite heavy. I think this is uh, platinum, some platinum inside. So anyway, without further ado, let's open it up, starting from this. I was actually looking for this because my previous one was uh, damaged. Oh, okay, expensive stuff. A look later. These belongs together with this. A lot of broken pieces. Let's explore this later. Inside. Let's start with the Bakutek. I need a couple of Bakutek. So these are the cards, the actual cards that come in the Bakutek. I forgot his name. I think it's something like Mikel Laurel or something like that. Okay. So this, so this, this is a very tall Bakugan. This here. Okay, so this this quite opens quite nicely. Yeah, the springs are working quite quite well. A very tall, tall Bakugan. This well, it opens very well as well. Okay, cool. Okay, so these two Bakutek. I believe this is Heios Terror Claw. Yes, Heios Terror Claw. Also Heos, but it's the buckle flip version. So it's Heos uh, buckle flip tarot claw. Oh, Mantis. Yes, Mantis. Mantris. Mantris. Looks like a diamond. I think it's a Heos because it's not clear plastic. Heos Platinum Neonelius. Yeah, As we are approaching the end of uh, evolutions, there are a lot of Bakugan that uh, I'm not sure whether they will be cancelled. So I, when I saw these uh, loose Bakugan, I thought I'd just get them first. I knew this is Heos uh, Neonelius Platinum version. So at the beginning of Evolutions, there were 10 Mythic Bakugan that were released. So this, I believe, is the second batch, but I'm not sure whether they will be actually be released in a package form. So this is Pyrus Trox. I believe it's Mythic, mythic Pyrus Trox. No, oh, this is uh, Fate Ninja, Aquas Fate Ninja, Mythic Aquas Fate Ninja. Who is this? I don't recognize this. Oh, this is um, Scoporos, Ventus Scoporos. This was one of the unreleased Bakugan from Battle Planet. Yes, this was one of the unreleased Bakugan from Battle Planet. See, it's all the way from 2019. Yes, finally got it. Unreleased Bakugan. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is, I believe, Superiorless. Ventus Superiorless. Yeah, in Evolution's colors. Not sure whether it will be released, but I just got it first. Yes. So there was a batch of uh, Jogan that were created that was a bit, a little bit too green. So I believe this is one of the batches. This is the Aquion. Aquas Aquion. Yeah, I believe it's a bit green. We were to compare to the original. Yeah, so this was the one that came in the box. So you can see it's basically the same. I said that the translucent part is a uh, more natural blue. This is very green. But if I let's check the dates. Both are from EET. AET. Uh, this is the earlier date. This is a later date. So maybe the earlier batches could have a uh, mix a little bit more green. Um, here's another one. Same thing. I'm not gonna open this. Okay, and this batch. So this is a Blitz Fox or other Blitz Fox. But the inside is a uh, silver. Some of them will go. I saw one that was. I saw this was silver, so I just got it. Yeah, it's a silver version. So both of these are silver. Cause the one I had was gold. I just got this. Yeah, I didn't know this was uh the Legends colors, so I just got it first. This is uh Darkest Enoch from uh, Bakugan Legends. Yeah, I didn't know it was Legends at the time. Anyway, let me just put it here. Let's see who this is. Oh, perfect. I think I got him before. I think I already had him. Okay, so the start of the show would be these four. Very, very expensive Bakugan. Let's go one by one. This is Pyrus Translucent Mutant Helios. Looking very nice. 
problem is at this stage right I don't know whether this is a custom or not because there's no date stamp but the thing is I bought some that's in the package and it also doesn't have any date stamp <laughs> I am not too sure whether these should have stamps or no stamps yeah but if you look at this there's not even a B power or G power there's not even a G power on it so it's pretty difficult to tell whether these are actually legit or not but supposedly it's legit supposedly it's legit this is uh, Aquas Mutant Croconite Once again, no power or any indication of a stamp It's really very difficult to tell These are probably real This is also Subterra Croconite Yeah, you can feel the rest of these are fully plastic No no weight to it But this, this is metal, you can feel the metal in it So somehow I feel that this is the only one that's real Because you see there's a stem there It's really a stem here And it's metal, you can feel it's metal But I don't know All these were very late stage uh, Mactinium search So it's difficult to tell And this is Mercury Dragonite Subterra version Honestly speaking I think this is uh, original, this is real These three may be customs, I don't know As for this pile right here, uh, there are a lot of broken pieces I don't, I don't think I want to just uh, open it up like that I'll probably open it up in the next, next vlog post So this has been my vlog post for today Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this content Please click the like button and subscribe See you next video, thanks, bye